want to be a good archaeologist, you gotta get out of the library. Howdy people, are you ready for the final movie in the epic saga? Harrison Ford is coming back for one last time, and the actor himself is the news on stage during the Star Wars celebration. So stay with me until the end as I have some really great news to share with you. Now, let's start with a short recap. The franchise's titular archaeologist adventurer, the influence that character has between each Indiana Jones movie undergoes off-screen changes. The character of Indiana Jones was first introduced in 1981's Raiders of the Lost Ark, and that guy is one of the most recognizable in all of pop culture. Recognizable by his leather jacket, bullwhip, and his characteristic fedora. As brought to life by Harrison Ford, the character is utterly iconic. After this part, Jones appeared in a number of subsequent movies. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom was a movie prequel, and with Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the 1989 movie, the trilogy has been wrapped. The movie makers decided to give it one more chance, so in 2008, they made the controversial Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Unfortunately, this was the worst one ever. At least, that's what the critics agreed on. But if I'm honest, this is the whole public opinion. Anyway, let's dive into the story for a little bit. Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones, returned for Temple of Doom after Raiders of the Lost Ark was made. Traveling to India with Short Round and Willie, Indiana Jones is tasked with recovering the Sankara Stone, a stolen local artifact from a villainous cult. In this movie, we saw him more actively engaged in helping others. Though Harrison Ford's roguish charm remained intact, this shift was necessary to make the role make sense and to bring back the Indiana Jones that audiences enjoyed in Raiders of the Lost Ark. In Temple of Doom, which was a movie written to a prequel, the things are a bit all over the place. Or better said, there are a lot of changes. Instead of becoming more heroic, things are not exactly going that way. Anyway, when we think better, considering the franchise's story and real-world history, it actually makes sense within the wider context. All the Indiana Jones movies so far were written by George Lucas and directed by the one and only Steven Spielberg. They all exist in the movie universe, and hell, they created it. You can't compare Indiana Jones to another movie. All you can do is compare one to the other three. Even then, it's still tricky to say which one was better. If you eat 4 kilograms of apples, how do you choose which kilogram tasted the best? Okay, the first one, of course. And then you don't have the same hunger. Unless they're really, really good apples. Do you get the metaphor? This is why no other movie could compare to Raiders of the Lost Ark. In Crystal Skull, the main role, again, has Harrison Ford, which is much older now. Even though you can't guess his age, because he has one of those Robert Mitchum faces that doesn't age. Alongside Mac McKill, he is taken by contemptuous, cool, Soviet uber-villainous Irina Spalko. Russians are once again smashing that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. No, really. Russians are once again exploited as the bad guys, and nobody complains about that. Okay, I'll stop there and give you a chance to re-watch the movie and prepare for what is coming next. Now, let's talk about the release date. Well, what's he gonna do now? I don't think he plans that far ahead. Oh, oh. I'd cover my ears if I were you. After several delays, production had finally finished. And yes, it was announced by longtime Indiana Jones producer Frank Marshall. But both Marshall and the director who took over directing from Steven Spielberg, James Mangold, said that Indiana Jones 5 is worth the wait. I don't know if I'll make you happy, but my team and I will knock ourselves out trying to make something good," said Maine Gold. Long story short, the movie will hit theaters on June 30th, 2023, barring any further delays. It was supposed to be in cinemas in July 2019, but what can we do? We know what happened in the past few years. From that date, there were a few more shuffles. The second date was supposed to be July 10th, 2020, then July 9th, 2021 and July 29, 2022. The movie had one further delay, as I mentioned before. So the official release date now is June 30th, 2023. And the reason behind that? Disney moved back a whole host of films. In early June, filming finally got underway at Pinewood and other locations in the UK. 
Disney confirmed that Ford had sustained a shoulder injury on June 23, 2021, and it all happened while rehearsing for a fight scene. Ford was back filming just a few weeks later, and in late February 2022, filming was finally over. Okay, now about the cast. Who is coming back? When I'm gone, he's gone. It's easy. Get it in your head. Only one person could say this sentence aloud. You don't need to guess twice. It's Harrison Ford. Ford has even said that no one else can play Indiana. And he is right. We got our first glimpse at Ford's return as Indy from the set. After filming finally started in June 2021, the role of the female lead this time will take Phoebe Walker-Bridge, and we've granted our first look at her in the movie too. Alongside her, we'll watch the Predator star Boyd Holbrook, Black Panther's Shawnette Renee Wilson, and Mads Mikkelsen. I do think I'm invited in to create a character. I think that everybody wants that. That's why they pick certain actors that they think can come up with certain things, and it will be a collaboration as it always is," said Mickelson to Digital Spy. Just recently, it was confirmed that Toby Jones has smashed that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. No, really, in all seriousness now, it was confirmed that Toby Jones has joined the cast, alongside Antonio Banderas. But even after this time, we still don't know what their roles will be. And now, the most important question. What will be the story of the last Indiana Jones movie? Indy, your father, they have them. Dad found out more than he was looking for. First of all, as a fan, I don't want to see Indiana Jones 5 making the same mistakes as the most recent movie. First of all, this movie won't be directed by legendary visionary Steven Spielberg. When I mention the same mistake, I meant that this movie must avoid the simplest pitfall that Crystal Skull fell into. Anyway, what do we know about the plot so far? It looks like Indy will go head to head with Nazis again, and we know that thanks to a filming video. Whether they're the movie's main villains or it's just a flashback, it's not clear yet, but the set photo has teased even bigger time travel. We know that the movie will take place after Crystal Skull, and it makes sense because we have a much older Harrison Ford now. It's interesting to see it in a different light. It will be fun and a good thing to do," said Ford. It is expected that the movie will be set in one of America's most turbulent times during the late 1960s, and Kathleen Kennedy assured us again that it won't be a reboot. It's a great story. It's a great character, and I think you're going to be very happy with this movie. It's everything that I think everybody wants out of an Indiana Jones movie," said Marshall as well. And all we have left is just to wait for 2023. I expect this movie to focus on the real thing, with more archaeology and fewer ancient aliens. At Zindi, Marion and Mutt figure out where the crystal skulls come from. The previous movies still involve a good deal of archaeology, but the ultimate reveal was surprising in the worst way possible. It is clear that its sci-fi twist make it stand out as the outlier of the series. We all remember the aliens above all else in Crystal Skull, right? Yeah, let's hope that we won't see a lot of that anymore. Anyway, what is your opinion? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.